I was looking for a monitoring system that, that would detect activity in estrus, um, but also looking for a system that would give us temperature monitoring as well, as, as I believe at the time when we first initially put it in, uh, that, that would give us a good handle on health issues, and that's certainly been the case in, in the last two years. Having the technology in the room in, uh, particularly with Jersey Cage, was very inquisitive. It meant that it, um, it was protected from the environment, from hedgerows, from falling off, from being chewed. Um, so that was quite important for us. So with the um, health alert, so that's using temperature, we've got farmers that will see a sudden spike in temperature and they can see by looking at the, they'll check their milk and so on, that they've been able to pick out cases of mastitis much earlier than they would normally and treat the cow without maybe sometimes using antibiotics. So they can start off with anti-inflammatories and maybe some other mint, but it's meant that they have been able to vastly reduce both their vet time, their antibiotic usage and so on. The technology is alerting us to mastitis between 12 and 24 hours earlier than any other system that we've come across or through our own protocols previous to the BOVIS. Um, this allows us to treat with Metacam initially and to then type the mastitis bacteria and treat accordingly with antibiotics if necessary. The other um, health issues we can pick up are things like when we get a drop in temperature, it can be a metabolic disorder, so like milk fever or ketosis. If it's close to having just calved and we get a temperature increase, we're most likely looking at metritis or a dirty cow. And the farmers are telling us that that is probably at least a day before they would normally see external issues, which is meaning that's so much quicker to get that cow cleaned out and back sorted and working again. The pH bolus that SmackSpec do um, is ideal in really high yielding farms where they're pushing the cows quite a lot. So their, their feed that is going in is aimed at getting the best milk production they can. So the pH will give them a really good idea on feed efficiency so that the cows are actually converting that food matter into the energy she needs to produce milk. But also if she's getting near acidosis, so that's meaning that farms got a really early heads up that they're getting things wrong with the feeding um, and they can act on it and the speed with which them changing the feed um, and, and how it affects the pH readings they're getting is incredible. So it's a really good tool for when you're pushing them hard and you're wanting really good results. We're starting to get feedback from the farmers that they can look at the information they're getting so on the cow's graph and so on and they can start to pick out illnesses just by seeing how different the temperature spikes which means that they can be really proactive with how they use or don't use antibiotics. If we've got a cow with a temperature increase on the dashboard here by clicking on that we'll bring up all the cows with a temperature increase. Um, each individual cow has its own graph and um, when we bring the graph up we can actually see what that temperature's done and then we'll look where that spike is. So here you can see she's had a temperature spike very shortly after bullying. In a situation like this, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't worry that the temperature is indicating any health problems because it's linked with that bullying episode. But if you went into a cow such as this one maybe, we can see that actually she hasn't been bullying recently. Her temperature has suddenly spiked overnight uh, in the middle of the night and she is very much, her activity has dropped away and so she is very likely that she has picked up mastitis in the last three to four hours. In which case we will then put her on milk stop in the parlour so when we're milking her in the parlour we actually manually have to override the automatic system so we can CMT her and check for supply cell count or for clots. So I think as time goes on that's going to be a massive feather in SmackTech's cap because it can really use early detection of health issues um, going forward to reduce antibiotic usage and keep out the cows healthier, longer living cows, better lactations, so it's looking very good for the future I think.